Today we are going to discuss about curtailment of pain relief as well. In this lesson we are going to learn how do we do the curtailment. First we consider a bending moment diagram of a beam. Say the bending moment will be varying like this. Right? So we have a reinforcement arrangement like this. Otherwise if I weave it uh, differently now we have a column column like this a column like this so say you have a top reinforcement and that you know you want to lap there right this is the lap length and this is the distance we are going to find this is lap length okay this distance we are going to find say here according to the bending moment requirement reinforcement requirement we have a 3t25 bars now we are going to curtail it to say 3t16 the continuing the same reinforcement that is 3t25 won't be required beyond certain point therefore you can curtail the reinforcement also sometimes it's not economical to continue the higher reinforcement area throughout the length in such cases we can do the curtailment like this now we are going to find this curtailment length if you take this example also this is the distance we are going to find so you have to let's draw the bending moment diagram now say this bending moment here will be 500 kilonewton right that we assume so these are the 3 t 25 bars and say this bar have a bending moment capacity of 550 say you are going to curtail it to 316 bars and its bending moment capacity is 300 for example now we know the bending moment capacity of 3 t 316 but this can be this calculation can be done for to you and 3 t 25 bending moment capacity also you can do the find it by the calculation so we have a 500 bending moment and we have provided 550 bending capacity or 3t25 then the section is okay beyond certain point you can curtail the 3c16 bus let's see how do how we can do it now this point is called the no longer required point beyond this point you don't want to have a 3t25 bus from this point onward you can have a 3t16 bus However, to transfer the stress from 3T25 bars to 3T16 bars, you have a certain length. That length generally is called the lap length. This is the lap length. So, lap length you can find from your code and also there are tables maybe even to calculate lap length very easily depending on the bar diameter. Here, when you consider the lap length, you consider the smaller bar diameter. From that you can get the lap length. Now let's see how to calculate the x. Now this x we have to go. In, we are going to calculate. Now this, as we discussed, this is the no longer required point of the 3g25 bars. So beyond this point, we can consider 3g16 bars as effective. Now no longer required point is now here in this point. This we have considered the no longer required point. So when you come to this side from this point this is the bending moment capacity we are referring this bending moment capacity should be 300 the bending moment capacity become the, this secondary bar or the point at which the bending moment become 300 is called the no longer required point for this curtailment arrangement from that you can terminate the 25 bars allowing a certain lap length lap length we can obtain from the your standard or the your code this should come from the your analysis from the analysis from the bending moment diagram you can find the 300 millimeter bending moment and the distance that 300 bending moment reach so this point is the no longer required point and this point is the cut at the point. so you can find the x from the bending moment diagram like this then you can do the curtailment so you know the lap length you know the curtailment length then you can do the curtailment so i think it's clear now the method of curtailing the top reinforcement of a beam
Let's meet again for new video. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube, our YouTube channel.